here we are at the Deanery Project today and we're going to talk a little bit about how to do a ABC check on your bicycle before you go out on the road. The first section we're going to deal with is A for air, uh, the second one is B for brakes and handlebars, and the third one is C for chain and cranks. So we're going to start with air and we're going to talk about everything that goes on around your wheel. And this is the first thing you want to check before you go out on the road. So we have two bicycles here today. This one is a mountain bike, uh, which is a very common bike, especially for young people. This is a hybrid, which is more of a road bike, commuter bike. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to check and see if these tires need a little bit of air. And this one is pretty soft and so is this one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the tire and see what the proper pressure is on each tire. And on the rubber part of the tire, you will find somewhere around this an indicator that says um, so many pounds per square inch is the minimum and so many pounds per square inch is the maximum. On this tire, I've marked it because sometimes it's a little bit hard to find. Um, if you wet your finger and rub it on the tire, it makes it a little bit easier to read. So this one does say the minimum pressure is 35 and the maximum pressure is 55 pounds per square inch. On a road bike tire, um, they're usually a little bit harder. The reason is that mountain bikes are going on rough trails over rocks and uh, branches and you want the tire to cushion your ride a little bit. Also, if you're going to carry a lot of weight or you're going um, perhaps grocery shopping and you have uh, uh, bags full of groceries, you might want a little bit less pressure so you've got a more cushioned ride. On this tire, it says that the minimum is 50 and the maximum is 85, so quite a bit different. The other thing that you're going to notice on these two tires is that they have two types of valves. The mountain bike tire has what we call a Schrader valve. This is the same valve that you would have on your automobile tire. So you can take this to the local gas station and use their pump to pump up your tire. Uh, this tire has what we call a Presta valve. And it's more uh, common on uh, road bikes and racing bikes and higher end bicycles. Uh, it has a smaller, narrower valve and you must unscrew the top of this valve before you can pump it up. And a lot of people forget that and wonder why they can't pump the tire up. If you go to your local bike shop, you can purchase a small adapter. They're a couple of dollars. And this just simply screws over the top. Remember to open the valve. Screws on over the top of the Presta valve. Now you can take this bike to the local gas station and you can also pump up the tire here. This pump has two openings, one for the Schrader valve, one for the Presta. Um, a lot of pumps do have that, and if they don't, get yourself a little adapter, you can use the regular pump. Some pumps uh, go onto the valve closed, <clears throat> and to lock it on, you need to open the lever. Some pumps go on open, and you need to close it to lock it on. So check your pump and make sure that you know which way it works. This one happens to go on closed. Press it onto the valve. Make sure it goes on well. You'll hear a little bit of air escape. Okay. Now give your tire a good pump. This pump happens to have a gauge on it. We know what our range is. We're going to pump at approximately 45 to 50 pounds per square inch. We're going to watch the gauge until it gets to there. And as soon as we see that it's the right pressure and it feels good, we're going to make sure that we take this off quickly so that we don't lose too much air. Your tire is pumped up. You're ready to go on the road. If you found this video useful, please come back and have a look at some more of the Deanery videos.